hey guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about my breastfeeding journey right so i'm going to be sharing my tips for getting more breast milk right my favorite products for breastfeeding and pumping um tips for taking care of your boobs so that they're hygienic for both yourself and for your baby and all of that stuff right so i'm going to be spilling all the tea on my breastfeeding and pumping journey so far so if you're a new mom or if you're a mom to be and trying to figure out you know products to use or what you need to get or have in stock or handy for your breastfeeding and your pumping journey then you want to stick around because i'll share all of that in this video Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Uchechi. I'm a content creator, YouTuber, digital marketing consultant, even though that bit is a lot more quiet these days, right? And a new mom. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. I hope you stick around much longer and I hope you join the growing community. All right. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be talking about my breastfeeding journey. So I'm going to be sharing my tips for getting more breast milk, my favorite products for breastfeeding and pumping, um taking care of my boobs and all of that right so if you are um if you're a new mom or you're pregnant you're about to have your baby and you're trying to figure that part out then hopefully this video helps you and before i start sharing my tips and my favorite products and all of that stuff let me just say that my breastfeeding journey has been quite an interesting one all right so firstly my breast milk didn't start coming out to the third day after delivery or the third is it third day after so i gave it on the first of august right my breast milk didn't start coming out till the third of august now this is different for a lot of people some people's breast milk start coming out before they give birth some some women's breast milk will come out when they give birth like the day they give birth once the baby is out some people will you know take some days some people some weeks some people unfortunately may never lactate right for mine like i said give birth on the first of august my breast milk came on the third of august and between the first of august and the third of august was a bit of a struggle right because you know i was in the hospital and of course doctors and nurses kept coming in oh are you lactating yet are you putting baby to the breast to stimulate your breasts and all of that stuff it was i would i don't want to say annoying but you know it was a bit much for a new mom who is already feeling the pressure of you know giving birth and having a baby and having to take care of someone and then you have the added pressure of every five minutes or every 30 minutes or every hour or anytime in any any medical personnel comes into the room it's are you lactating yet are you putting baby to the breast all of that stuff but yeah that's how it went and um yes i had to keep putting closer to my breast even though i wasn't lactating yet then um, just to stimulate just to tell my boobs that you know what it's time for you to start producing something or it's time for the milk to start coming out because whoever is going to get this is already out and ready for it right and because of that i had to give cosy formula you know for those throughout that first week right because even when it came out like on the 3rd of august because okay something else that i struggled with was latching so cosy wasn't latching well right those like first three four days even when my breast milk came so because of that when my breast milk eventually came, I was not willing to breastfeed her because when she wasn't latching well, she was giving me sores on my nipples. So my nipples were very sore. I had injuries on both nipples, right? But luckily that didn't last very long. So for that first week, I was still giving her a bit of formula here and a bit of breast milk here. When I feel like my nipples are too sore, I'll give her formula to drink. <laughs> I have to go and get her because she, she was just crying and Apparently, she just wants to be held because immediately I carried her, she started sleeping. So, I guess she's going to be in our video today. All right. So, yeah, that was how that went. Then, something else I struggled with uh, were my nipples, right? So, my nipples were not pointy enough. So, I think that's why she wasn't latching well, or she probably was latching well, but because they were not pointy or they were not out, right? Um, I was having a bit of an issue. I'm not sure what the problem is, but I know that my nipples were not pointy right so please if you're still pregnant right and um um you have inverted nipples you may want to start like maybe massaging and trying to like bring them out i don't know but that's what my matron advised me to do but apparently i probably didn't do it well because when she came into my hospital room after i gave her she was like i told you to do this thing and you're not doing it see now see yeah so, but please confirm from like maybe your your your, your doula or your midwife or your doctor 
if that is the way to go but i know i struggled with my nipples um after i gave birth right and i eventually had to use my breast pump to bring it out right so even when i was in lactating i put my breast pump my electrical breast pump on my boobs and i started pumping so if if you've ever pumped before you know that it sort of brings up your nipples because that's how the milk come out right so that's what eventually made my nipples come out a bit more and um, because i said latching properly and i stopped having sore nipples or sore nipples while breastfeeding now i've been doing a number of things a number of random things that i think are adding up to helping my breast milk supply my mom suggested that i do these things and my aunt and a number of people have suggested and i have read up on some of the things that i have been eating right and seen that other women also swear that it helps with their breast milk supply right so one of them is oatmeal right so i've been eating oatmeal a lot since i gave birth right in fact it helped with my poop right my postpartum poop um if you know about postpartum poop you know that it's usually dreaded by a lot of women because it's notorious for being very tough and strong right and painful but if you follow me on instagram i already shared this right um before i was discharged from the hospital i asked my doctor for um what are they called some pills i can't remember what they are called now to help for stool softeners yes to help me with my first postpartum poop but he instead recommended that i eat certain things so like oatmeal quick yogurt or yogurt take a lot of fluids take some spicy foods and all of that stuff that's what i did and it helped and my mom also said i should also recommended some of those foods and stuff for breast milk so i ended up continuing that diet right so I'm taking a lot of oatmeal with fruits, so sometimes with apples, with bananas, with blueberries, with, with um, cinnamon powder, whatever it is I can use to sweeten or, you know, make my oatmeal look more visually appealing. I do that, right? So I'm taking a lot of oatmeal and if I checked on Google or I checked to see if that helps and some women swear that oatmeal helps right so whether it's oatmeal cookies or oatmeal as oatmeal right or oatmeal as granola because you use oats also to make granola which i'm going to do very soon maybe i'll do a video to show you guys that right but yes oatmeal something else i'm also taking is fruit so fruits with high water content i'm specifying because breast milk is mostly water right that's why they also recommend not to give your babies water because you already have water in breast milk right um so yes so i'm taking like pineapples and watermelons and apples those are the main fruits okay blueberries strawberries those are the main fruits that i have been taking right some others i take like in bits and pieces but those are the main fruits that i have been taking i try to take fruits i try to take, make sure i'm taking fruits every week it's supposed to be every day but unfortunately i'm not that much of a fruits person so i make sure that every week i've taken fruits Something else I'm also doing is drinking a lot of water. Now, this is my water bottle, right? I'm not sure how many um, liters this is, but I know that if I pour in, so this takes almost two Aquafina bottles, right? So I need to confirm what the, um, um, is it capacity now of, um, of one Aquafina bottle is? So it, I think it is like one and a half, right? So I try to, I try to drink at least two at least two bottles of this every day right sometimes i drink more sometimes i drink like three four depending on the day right or depending on what i've eaten that day i'm still learning to drink water more so this is i'm improving right so there's that there's also making sure that i'm resting a lot and <clears throat> so um, you know sleep when the baby sleeps and all of that sometimes it looks like it's not possible but it can be Especially if you have help so i'm lucky enough to have like my husband who is very helpful my mom comes around so my mom was around for almost a month for a mobile but she's not around anymore however she tries to come every weekend like every two weeks right so i mean there's that my sister is also around who helps out when she can so sometimes i actually can't sleep while kosi is sleeping right because i don't have to like do a lot of chores around the house I'm just, I mean, maybe I'm speaking from a place of, maybe I'm speaking from a place of privilege because I have help around, so I can't afford to sleep when she sleeps. So not all the time. Sometimes I want to walk or, or I want to watch like TV or something or pump or something. But yes, resting is helping 
a lot. I'm also taking, I mean, so apart from what I'm taking a lot of other fluids, so apart from water and fruit, I'm taking things like pepper soup. So if you're Nigerian, then you know there's dry fish pepper soup that I take. You know, that's also very helpful. I've heard of other things that people take, but these are the things that I am taking personally. You know, just random things that I'm doing here and here that I believe are adding up to boosting my breast milk supply. Something else very, very important is breastfeeding and pumping. Yes, yeah, so to, in order to have more breast milk to breastfeed, you need to breastfeed more, <laughs> right? So, so, I mean, breast milk supply works, you know, on the basis of demand and supply. So the more you demand for it, the more it supplies, right? So if you're breastfeeding often, right, and you're also pumping often, you're draining your boobs, then your boobs, you know, know that it needs to refill, right? So the more you empty, the more you refill. So if you're not breastfeeding as often, you know, or you're not pumping, then there's always breast milk. So it's like, okay, there's some, there's no need to refill, right? But the more you empty your boobs, the more milk comes in, all right? So that's how that works. So those are my tips for getting more breast milk if you're a new mom, right? And if you're a mom to be. Now my favorite product, right? So for both breastfeeding and pumping, right? So I have my disposable breast pads and you know we have disposable breast pads by different brands but the one i'm currently using is by tommy tippy and i don't know why this box is so big i think it's because this is like 100 pieces so it's a box of 100 right and um this is what this looks like i'm going to be working with one hand today because <laughs> of course but this is what this looks like right um so these are my disposable breast pads that i put like inside because I tend to leak sometimes, right? And I don't want to be leaking directly on my bra because that's uncomfortable. I mean, you can't wear wet bras for, for hours, you know? So, I mean, to avoid changing my bra maybe every hour, every two hours, I would rather change the breast pads, right? So these are super absorbent. And um, I got this one specifically because they are size large right so if your boobs are big right this will cover very well and i believe it says this also works very well at night right at night because you're sleeping you're not feeling as much as you would feel during the day right so you may have more leaks at night so this would absorb a lot more that's why i got this i use it both day and night right um something else also have very important is nipple cream and this again is by tommy tp i hope this thing is focusing on this i really hope it is right so this i apply it i don't use it so I, it was those first few weeks i was using it all the time because i mean my nipples were getting sore very often but this is i don't use it all the time but you should i should be doing that right so what you do is once you finish breastfeeding you just apply this around your nipple area and yeah that's it and the good thing is you don't need to wipe off before breastfeeding right so i can have this on my nipples and if she wants to breastfeed again i don't need to start looking for something to clean it off to breastfeed i can breastfeed while this is on it right so again this is by tommy tp and it is a nipple cream something else i'm also using on my breastfeeding journey are breast milk bags and this is by a brand called newbie so i have this one and i have another one from a brand that i recently worked with called best moms ng right again if you're following me on instagram they probably have seen the video that i made or i posted about her or their breast pump their breast milk storage bags which are fantastic by the way i should okay is it too far okay so these are the breast milk bags from the nigerian brand that i talked about that i recently worked with and I love these in particular, right? Because these have like thermal indicators. So I'm going to bring one out, right? So these has thermal indicators. You can see the pink and blue thing. I'll probably post a video right, so I can see it more clearly, right? But it shows you like, so it has like, Okay, so you see the pink and blue faces, right? So there's a guide right on the bag, right? So pink and blue means the milk is cold. No pink and no blue means the milk is hot. And only pink means the milk is ready. Now, this is perfect 
if you're going to be giving your baby to someone to breastfeed or to feed not to breastfeed right so you've pumped your milk you've stored in your storage bags you've frozen them or you've brought them out to thaw right but you're not around and you've left your baby at home with someone and the person needs to feed your baby this is fantastic for guiding on the right temperature of the milk so that someone is not giving your baby very hot milk that will burn his or her throat right so yeah so i have those breast milk storage bags um i also have like breast pumps so i have like a silicone breast pump which is manual um unfortunately i can't show you on this video or in this video because there's breast milk in it i pumped and it's in the fridge um then i also have like double a double electric breast pump and i had this one again is from the brand that i recently worked with and it is out because i'm using this more than the one that i had before so i had the double electric breast pump but I immediately abandoned it when i got this one because this one has covers okay so i'm going to bring just one because i have just one hand free but as you can see this one has a cover right um so once you finish pumping you can use this to cover the milk if you're not ready to put in the refrigerator immediately remember breast milk can stay outside in room temperature for up to four hours right so if you're not ready to put in the refrigerator immediately if you're not ready to transfer to a breast milk storage bag to keep in the freezer then this is fantastic because it has a cover that can cover and preserve your breast milk all right my previous electric breast pump did not have this cover the middle i got this and i said i was just like yep i got a new breast pump Something that I love about this one from this particular brand is that um, it's a double electric breast pump, but you can switch it and make it a single electric breast pump, right? It is beautiful. I mean, when I was discussing with the owner of this brand, you know, she didn't even mention that. But when I was reading the pack and I saw that you could do that, I was like, I absolutely had to talk about this because I'm sure that people will find it very helpful because I found it very helpful, right? There were instances where I wished I could use my double electric breast pump to pump on just one boob, right? Maybe one is empty and the other isn't, and you know, I just don't want that, the other one to be pumping and pumping air into the bottles, right? But I couldn't do that because it was just two, you know, you couldn't separate. But for this, you can separate and use just one instead of both of them at the same time, which is fantastic. Now, next thing is caring for your boobs, right? This is very important because you don't want to have like any infection on your boobs, right? Because I mean, it's milk and there's like bacteria and AIDS and all of that stuff. So you want to keep your boobs as hygienic and as clean as possible, all right? So even while you are pregnant, you can start cleaning your nipples. But please again, confirm or check with your doctor because you do not want to over sensitize your nipples because i have read that overstimulation of the nipples while pregnant can cause labor right so please please i am begging you please i am begging you check first confirm from your doctor confirm from your midwife confirm from your doula that you can clean your nipples or how to clean your nipples well i was doing mine and and i didn't overstimulate them so i didn't i mean it didn't push me into labor right so what i did was i mean while having my bath i'm making sure that i'm washing that area but even after having my bath just taking like cotton wool and olive oil and clean around it so i can clean up all the dirt you haven't used your boobs in a while except maybe your man is sucking it but you haven't used your boobs on your nipples in a while so it's possible that dirt has clogged up your nipples right Right, so you need to clean that pit and open it up so that when it's time to start breastfeeding, there's nothing obstructing the milk flow or the flow of the milk from your boobs. All right, then of course there is using your nipple cream once you finish breastfeeding because the last thing you want to have or encounter during your breastfeeding journey are sore nipples or worse, cracked nipples. You guys, if you plan to exclusively breastfeed and you have sore nipples or cracked nipples, that can instantly put an end to your breastfeeding journey and it can be the most painful thing ever all right so massage your boobs while you're having your bath as well to encourage the milk flow. this is after you've given birth again please let's not try to overstimulate and then go into premature labor all right so massage your boobs while you're in the shower while you're having a warm shower so that, you know you can loosen up the milk and you know open the milk duct so that it will flow better you know clean your nipples regularly um breast pads 
to catch leaks, right? So that you're not leaking on your bra. If you're going to leak on your bra, then you should be ready to change your bra often, right? During the day so that if you're not leaking on your bra, your bra is soaked and you're still wearing it. It's just messy, all right? That's why I like using disposable breast pads, right? To catch those leaks so that I'm swapping the breast pads instead of swapping my bra every time, all right? So that's that for this video. I hope you found this video extremely helpful. If you did, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. If there are other things concerning like pregnancy or my pregnancy journey or motherhood or breastfeeding or whatever that you want me to talk about, please let me know in the comment section. I constantly review my content calendar so that I can add those things to my content calendar and talk about them in subsequent videos. All right. I'll see you in my next video. She is beginning to yeah yeah my my, my arm is spinning is so i have to go and drop her down and there's no guarantee that she will not wake up so i may have to be with her while i drop her down in case she wakes up so i'm gonna have to end this video right but again let me know if you enjoyed it if you're not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video bye guys